Ella smiles even though she has a new stepmom, a curfew, she lost a shoe, and a whole bunch of other problems. Not to mention her dumb idiot sisters. Welcome to The Wall Vault with Andre, Michelle, Emily, and Luis. We are a family-friendly podcast where each and every week we watch and review a different Disney movie. Be sure to subscribe on all podcast platforms and YouTube. Enjoy the show! Welcome to the Wild Vaults, episode 128. Okay, so we're we're going to get into this episode, obviously, but <laughs> I feel like, Emily, you have to say what that lady just said, because I'm still laughing about it. <laughs> oh, about oh, the oh. toad. So, okay, so our last episode, oh, yeah. if, if you remember, 127 <laughs> was, was about Chicken, Chicken Little. Little, and it was a explicitly explicit episode, because explicit. we were not hugely fond of the little chicken yeah what did we do what did we what did you just say like i feel like we can only do explicit episodes if we don't like the movie yeah, because <laughs> yeah. for example this week is the live action cinderella and pre yeah what am i gonna say thoughts, like i liked it so i can't be like oh my gosh she cray right like yeah. no, I, I actually doesn't work it. yeah but <laughs> one of our followers um the Mel- the melanin mouseketeers um they are they post some really cool stuff at yes Yes, yes, yes. At Melanin um, Mouseketeers. Yeah, right? at Melanin Mouseketeers. Um, <laughs> she, I was writing back and forth with her through DM, and she's like, oh, I just, really, I just realized you guys are a podcast. And then she's like, y'all are crazy. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, so this episode is is not like all of our so episodes. So it happens when you start with Chicken Little. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but if you go back to the Mr. Toad episode, that one was also crazy. And then she's Even like. crazy, crazier, some would say. <laughs> she listened to it, and then she wrote back and was like, y'all gone and roasted the, <laughs> the TF out of the toad. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, That's so funny. That is great. But um, so it's very funny. We enjoy your feedback on our episodes. Yeah. Um, Good or bad. I think that's a fun thing to do every now and then when, you know, we inevitably have to kind of run into these bad movies every now and then because there's that that's the that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know, they're out there. But this week, the cookie crumbled in a good way. Okay, it crumbled gracefully, crumbled in my mouth to my stomach. (laughs) Delicious. We watched. Go ahead. We are talking about the very, very tasty. You ate a cookie. (laughs) Oh, I stay eating cookies. (laughs) We're Mm. talking about the live action 2015 Disney movie Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. Is it called Cinderella? It is it's called just called Cinderella. Cinderella, yeah. The reason I ask if it's called Cinderella. Thank God Goose Goose didn't sing in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Goose Goose. There was a goose Gus and there Gus. was a <laughs> mouse named Gus Gus. He means Gus Gus. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Goose Mr. Goose. goose. <laughs> um, so the reason I asked is because we have been trying our best to only do movies that are on Disney Plus. Um, because most, I'm assuming... Most people <laughs> have Disney Plus. At this especially point, if maybe listening to this podcast, I'm about right. a year in of Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah. you Actually, more likely have access to Disney yeah. Plus than don't. So we knew that it had been on here because I remember seeing it on here, mm-hmm. and so we go to log in this week, and we're all like, uh, "Where that movie at? Where is it? Yeah, they took it Where down. It <laughs> so rude. Why? So I'm looking for it, and I'm searching, and then I looked at Luis and was like, "Is it called something else? Is it called the glass shoe, or is it called like? Is it called s- Ella's feet, or <laughs> Ella's feet? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And I think Slide we slide into those DMs yeah. like, what is it called? We usually purposefully always check the movie. Like I usually tell Andre, like, check it. He's like, it's on there like the movie we're doing next week i'm so like can you check it mm-hmm. like because i don't know now like cinderella was disney there channel or excuse me it's a disney plus original we're yeah. like wait i'll make sure. i don't care you <laughs> better make sure it's on there <laughs> when they be taking these Willie down because Nelly. you're right emily when they have the section where it says live action like mm-hmm. cinderella was always on there yeah. so we just assumed but so hopefully you guys have recently watched this before Disney Plus so rudely took it down, which Root. I don't really know why, but whatever. Root, root. Yeah, we, we I don't know what their strategy team is thinking. We ended up renting it. Um, but let's go ahead and get into our first impressions. I think I want to give mine first this time yes. because I was very anti live action Cinderella. I've only seen it one time, and now I don't understand why I didn't like it. I think I didn't like it because... I remember when you watched it, too. 
I maybe I was upset that they didn't sing, or I kind of was upset at the fairy godmother because I was like they didn't sing bibbidi bobbidi boo like that's a bop oh. where it at, you know. So I <laughs> think I might have I might have been thinking like <laughs> in that <laughs> mindset, you know. But upon this viewing, I was like, oh, I didn't hate it. Like it was pretty good. I I, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, it was Did you see this in Downtown Disney? I think so. I don't know why that sticks out to me, mm. but I just remember you being like, watching Downtown Disney, I'm super excited. She was like super happy about it. And then she was like, <laughs> and I hated it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I was expecting you to say. I don't know why I hated it so much. And now I can't even recall. And also, I thought this movie came out in like 2011. It came out in 2015. So I don't know where my brain's at. Now but I'm upon this viewing, I did enjoy it. And I really liked it um, for one of the live actions. I thought it was pretty fun. It was pretty good. Was this one of the first, if not the first, live action? Yeah, it was like one of the very... It was like so. the first Not live action remake. movie, but live action remake. Yeah. I think it was one of the first remakes. And maybe that's why I was being a little brad about it. Like, oh, it's not a carbon copy. You know what I mean? Yeah, because like the Alice yeah. in Wonderland had come out before yeah, this. Yeah, but that's, but that's like original to me. Almost. Sure. Well, especially when it comes out with Tim Burton. I feel like right. it's more... Or you're expecting it to be more original. Yes, and less. This was less like the first copy. remake. So with that being said, let's pause there. Just remember what she just said that she was she doesn't she doesn't remember if that's what she was mad about or not. <laughs> I want to pause and go to Luis's first impression because Luis early on had a very similar view about what he thought these live action remakes should be like. Mm. Mm. Luis's so first you can impression. Explain that first, and then explain your idea on how you felt about this movie. I was kind of in uh, the impression that they should be like. The original, like, like the animated version. Yeah, like pretty much follow in line with them. Mm-hmm. But then towards the end, after a couple of uh, live action ones, I'm like, no, it's kind of good that they deviate from the original story because it's a lot better mm-hmm. sometimes. Right. Yeah, yeah, I agree with this you. This was Luis. a good movie. I liked it quite. <laughs> I agree with Louise. I think maybe that's why I was upset at first because it is one of the first live mm-hmm. action remakes and I think I watched it and was like, what? Yeah. You ruined Cinderella. <laughs> you know, but now that we've had more of these under our belt, I much prefer when they deviate more yeah. um, versus if it's a carbon copy. Yeah. I tend to dislike that more now. So I think, it's interesting. I think it's interesting because it opens itself up to different types of criticism when they're car- more carbon copy-esque. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, I feel, and we've said this multiple times, but with Beauty and the Beast, that one, t- in my mind, is the most carbon copy-esque of the ones that we've seen. It's my favorite, though, which is interesting. That, that is interesting, because to me, I, when I look at, like, visually look at the scenes, I'm like, I remember this scene in the, the animated, animated version. version. Yeah. And I don't remember it that much. Like, when I watched this one, you can, like, feel... The scenes, but you don't really, like, see the scenes. A little bit. Um, but anywho, so this was my first time seeing it, and I definitely went in with lower expectations, I think, because I've heard Michelle bash on Probably. it for the last five years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and while I was watching it, I kept looking over at Luis's face, and I kept saying, like, I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm actually really enjoying this. And I was surprised at how much I liked it. Yeah. And yeah. I liked the plot point differences because they made more literary sense. I, I mean, I know we're watching a movie, but sure. it made more storytelling sense in the way that they like met before the ball right? and, and already they... liked each other, that they didn't just like become enamored within like a 10 minute dance. Oh, mm-hmm. she's the hottest girl out of all 700 hot girls. Boom. Here. <laughs> they all hop and she's the hottest. <laughs> like I, I enjoyed that they already had met and already had like a secret meeting in which they were enamored. Yeah. Forest um, girl. I just, I, I dug the differences in this. Um, and Luis, I'm sure we'll go into it more, but we have a difference of opinion about what he thought was slow versus what I thought was slow mm. and those types of things um, about like the nitty gritty of the movie. But first impression wise, I liked it. Interesting. Yeah, I would say it's probably one of like the better. I think so, too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think, Andre, I, think I agree. Um, this is my first time seeing this. I remember when it was coming out back in 2015 or whatever. That I watched like the trailer and I was like, oh, look at that uh, live action Cinderella movie that I don't need to see at all because it looks exactly the same as the animated version. Look at that. And that, w- that was my, my thought process um, going forward. So I did not go see it uh, that year when it came out. 
And but upon watching it this time, I found it pretty refreshing um, as a as a Cinderella story. You know, like it, it, as you were saying, the the differences in it are are pretty good. Like, and I really really love Kate Blanchett as the oh. stepmother. Yeah, Ooh. she's awesome. She is doing a really good job. Yeah, of being she is awesome. Nasty. Dude. She's a nasty. She's nasty. I like that she was young too. Right, like, yeah. like younger. Yeah, Lady Tremaine came, in my head is like she's so old. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She came on screen. I was like, dang, she hot. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Evil. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, which would, would make more sense why the dad would remarry. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there, right. there was a yeah. lot more things that made mm -hmm. it a little more logically correct. Yeah, exactly. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I agree. She was so good, bad. bad so yeah, good. this this version um, was was surprisingly good. I was I was going into it thinking that like, okay, it'll probably be either exactly the same as the animated Cinderella, or you know, like, uh, I won't think about it after after we watch this, and it'll it'll never hold a candle to Rogers and Hammerstein version of Cinderella <laughs> or whatever. But <laughs> dude, we watched that like pretty recently. <laughs> but I think I think with this Brandy. this is this is pretty a pretty good rendition. And um, I think I will remember this and possibly go back to it, you know, in, in the future. Yeah, I think so, too. If mm -hmm. they had sang Impossible, this would have been like... <laughs> there is... <laughs> when, when they were... would have been the thing. <laughs> when they were going to the ball, <laughs> Andre and I were both like, the prince is having a ball. The <laughs> prince is having a ball. Louise, did you ever watch that movie where Brandy played... Cinderella. Cinderella. And she had an no. Asian boyfriend. How's Whitney uh, Houston? Whoopi Goldberg was. And the entire <laughs> yes, every single person was of a different nationality. Yeah, yeah the prince was no Asian. Was Brandy was black. The dad was white. Yes. Dad was white. <laughs> the, was yeah. white. Yeah. the Asian prince's parents were Whoopi Goldberg and the uh, <laughs> yeah, white dude. And white dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's great. Um, that kind of stuff never bothers me though. I just like like it even more. No, that's great. so. Let's let's get into it. I think definitely one of the biggest differences is that we get a lot of backstory here yes. versus in Cinderella. We kind of get a little like, you know, we know from the original Cinderella that the mom has already died. We don't even see her in it really. Where they just say like the mom passed, we just know that the and, mom is and gone. we know that the dad <sighs> dies right. pretty soon, but we don't really know like what happens. So we get a lot of that here, which I really like because it sets the stage very well. Let me just say this movie was um, starring Lily James. She's mm. the one who plays Cinderella. Kate Blanchett is the stepmom. Richard Madden is the prince, and the movie is directed by Kenneth Branagh, who you might remember from directing Thor, the first Thor, mm. or you might remember his role as Professor Lockhart in Harry Potter and the Chamber Frickin of Secrets. Mm. Love mm -hmm. Mr. Lockhart. Louise hates him so much, but I love him. <laughs> Louise <laughs> just did like the weirdest <laughs> laugh. <laughs> 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 that guy. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. It makes me want to watch Harry He's Potter. So flamboyantly, ridiculously funny. Right. Yes. Uh, uh, I, I really like him as a as a director. Yeah. You know, before, which I feel like him <clears throat> directing Kate Blanchett, and this is just fantastic. Can you imagine? It's like, <laughs> can you make this a little bit more dramatic? <laughs> can like, you just be a little <laughs> bit more evil? In. This is how I would do it in Harry Potter. Uh, no, um, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, he he directs a lot of like Shakespearean type of stuff, and I noticed. I don't know what I thought you were gonna say, but that's not the one. <laughs> Shakespearean, <laughs> Shakespearean. Um, Shakespearean. like he directed the Hamlet and uh, Much Ado About Nothing back in the '90s, and he did Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, and then and then going into Thor, I think that's why they brought him in because he could do the Asgardian flowery language, mm -hmm. and I noticed that there was some flowery language going on in this movie as well and i liked it i at first uh, i was like uh oh no here we go it's gonna be all uh kenneth Branagh shakespeare -y stuff and i'm not gonna understand none of it because i'm a dumb dumb but it uh, was uh <laughs> it was i didn't feel like pretty, that at all pretty well yeah <laughs> felt good oh he also directed artemis fowl the new one oh that's interesting. no hmm. I, we never ended up watching no we did not um, not planning on it. Yeah, and we will not be watching it unless we do it for the podcast. <laughs> yes, so I exactly. Guess we don't know if we ever will or not. Yeah, I don't watch it. movies unless they're for the podcast now. <laughs> like, I, if it's a Disney one, yeah, I'm like, I ain't just going to turn on a Disney movie. <laughs> like, I don't think so. Or if it's something we've already done. Like, I've thrown Hercules up since, you know, since we've done it a few times. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Anywho, only but watch you know non Disney Moana's movies. On repeat up yeah. here, so. <laughs> we watched Mean Girls last night, and that was the bee's knees. <laughs> not a Disney movie. The uh, not a Disney movie, no. Uh, yes. So, getting into this Cinderella story, not, you know, to be confused with Hillary Duff's Cinderella story, um, <laughs> there's a lot more backstory about how the mother dies and how the father dies. Yes. And we know that princesses are 
well, Disney princesses, usually one of the parents is dead. Not all of them, but, like, a lot of them, like, the original princesses like that, they're all, like... They orphaned a, they have or troubled, or run away uh, they're, they're, like, yeah. they're like superheroes yeah, yeah. yeah i guess so little oh, girls out here getting batman <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm an orphan ha, have you been cursed no uh, what, what, what is it from um from freaking um wreck it ralph what have you been cursed <laughs> oh all the princess <laughs> they're like saying yeah. then she must be a princess yeah yeah, yeah. yeah there's a, a lot show. of those so it's, I keep looking at Luis because I'm interested in if he's going to share his opinion here. But he looked over twice during this opening. I'm calling it an opening scene. It wasn't really the, an opening the scene. Prologue. But like, mm, the like prologue. The backstory of like mom and that they're really happy family. And the narrator is talking about how everything was great and Ella was a little bit magical and sure. their whole life was like a storybook. And Luis looked over at me and was like, this is going kind of slow. Mm. And I was like, oh. this is nice. <laughs> I was like, really happy about it. And he, I think he thought it was dull. And then mom immediately, well, not immediately, but gets sick. And Which I was like, oh, she must have got the plague. But then they like let her in the room. I was like, if she had the plague, she wouldn't be allowed <laughs> every, in. Every they disease is the plague now. <laughs> and then I was like sure. mad. I was like, well, what did she die from? Y'all didn't tell me how she died. Like she just got sick. She but what got she gets? She got the Rona. Well, <laughs> like, I didn't know what she died from. Yeah. Uh, Agent Carter, you know, she, she got the... Uh, okay, so she <laughs> was Agent Carter. Yes. Because Luis, w- w- the whole movie, were like, this looks like so-and-so. This looks like so-and-so. <laughs> What's his name looks like Bucky. And I was like, good God, this is Bucky on screen. Who, the dad? No. Oh, the, the prince? The prince. Oh, no, he's oh, from he's Game from of Thrones. Oh, he's from Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, we knew him. Bucky. I was like, good <laughs> God. That's Rob Stark right there. But yes, Haley Adwell played um, Ella's mother, um... That makes sense. Whose name in the movie is just Ella's mother. <laughs> but yeah, she's got she's got the blonde hair and the blonde eyebrows. Like, oh, okay, you guys did both. All right, that's interesting. Look at yeah. look at you go. She's cute. Anywho, she's cute. so mama dies, and then dad is like a traveling merchant. He's out mm-hmm. doing his thing. And I liked this change in the movie. It shows time going on. Mm-hmm. I guess I in my mind I thought that she was going he was going to die early and she was going to be like a little kid growing up with these steps. Right, I thought that he would remarry immediately. Yes, that's what I thought too. They kind of do that more in the animated though. Yeah, like, for sure. Like she gets married and she's young and he dies and she's pretty young because she's kind of raised as this right. servant. Right, right. You know, more. So in this you see a dad and, and some, or excuse me, Ella walking across a field and you see her growing up over time as they're like panning towards the audience Mm -hmm. and then she's grown up they're happy but he's like well i'm not like fully happy i I love you and all but But i'm like alone can i like can i get another lady please and she's like yeah let's do it you go be happy daddy oh here we go so she married he marries a widow whose husband recently died and he was like you know i met her on my him on my travels and he passed away and he has a wife and these two kids and I was like, well, he's just going to marry this widow. You know, it's like kind of, I mean, it's, I get it. Cause he's a widow and she's a widow. So it like yeah. makes sense. They can like be there for each other. There's two daughters. Ella won't be alone. And I was like, I still, cause the way he's talking about her is just more like, a, okay, I'm going to try this and like try to be happy. But he's still like obsessed with his deceased wife, yes. you know? Yeah, hey, but then I'm I saw go pick up a wife at lady, Walmart real quick. <laughs> lady Tremaine come on screen. And I, and I was like, no wonder she hot. He's like, let me get up in here. <laughs> like, why not? Why not? Work. Dude, yeah. she is hot. Please. But they're very different. She's very city and mm-hmm. they're very country. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that's, the, that's that's another thing. So I that, like that they make that distinction, though. Uh, the um, the house that they live in, the, the house that uh, Ella has grown up in, is this big farmhouse on the, on the country. And uh, they've got all kinds of people on staff. They got cooks. They got maids. Mm-hmm. They got farmhands. They got butlers and stuff. There's a whole bunch of people there doing the chores. And, and they show, like, young Ella walking around and saying hi to all these people and stuff like that. I was like, how are they going to get this girl to do all of the chores if all of these people are on staff? What <laughs> kind of crazy torture is this <laughs> where they're just like, hey, go out work out there with, uh, you know, what's his name? and what's, They get salary, but you ain't getting nothing. I was no. like, oh, my God. <laughs> get <a> salary. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. But the, I, yeah. I like the justification um, for that as well. Um, uh, so, yeah. So he marries a uh, new stepmom, Kate Blanchett. Tremaine, uh, Lady, Lady Tremaine, Tremaine, who I just called stepmom in the. In my She's notes. hella, right? No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, she She's is hella. hella from from Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Another it, another it. Thor reference. Wow, another. Um, and so she comes in. 
with her daughters. Looking very different with her normal blonde than yes. she did in Thor Ragnarok with her all black. Yeah, her head dude, her lady. Headdress. But she could have been wearing that same headdress in this movie. Kate Blanchett's hot. Made perfect dude. sense. Yes. She's hot. She's 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 a baddie, and um, <laughs> <laughs> and so she brings. Is she a baddie? Luke? <laughs> he's still wearing his. He um, said he's he a yes. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So she she's coming in all nice and bad, and her daughters are already evil and uh, and annoying. Um, and they were they weren't as fun in this movie. They weren't as Ridiculous. silly. Yeah. yeah. They were just like annoying. I was I'm just like, happy they didn't sing Sweet Nightingale because that. Sing sweet, sweet Nightingale. That's like one of the best parts of the movie. Is it though? Heck of funny. <laughs> well, they Heck sang they sang poorly in this version though too. Yeah, one of, but one it was of the song. One yeah, of them was, was on the song. harpsichord and singing, and you're like, you could stop. <laughs> she literally said, "You can shut up." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mom. The mom is a you know what, but um. So, um, her Lady Tremaine tries to bring life back into the house and ha- throws a party, and they're, they're socialites, you can tell. Yeah. Which, their country life, it's not really their thing, right? And so, um, he has to travel again, and you can tell that Lady Tremaine is very jealous of Ella because yeah. he her father loves her. Like, calm down. <laughs> of course her father loves <laughs> his, his freaking daughter. daughter. But he also is like, you know, your mom's still in this house mm-hmm. and will always love her. She'll always be here. And I'm like, Lady Tremaine, right. you need to calm down. Didn't your husband just die? You have no She's grief like, yeah, his you? memory like, died with him. Let's <laughs> shut up about him forever. Yeah, I but then later him. in the movie, she says that she married that one for love. And I'm like, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, no. Like, at all. Definitely you married not. him for other things. Yeah. Like money. For the two daughters, I guess. <laughs> we got these two dum dums <laughs> out of this dude. So he goes on his trip, and and I was like, okay, they've only been here like a couple days, <laughs> like and you're just going tops. on a trip. I would be upset. Don't leave me with no stranger. Who the heck is this? It's okay. I'll be back in a couple months. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, I told Andre. I said if we was in the olden days, uh, this wouldn't work for me. I'd be like, you ain't going. I can't talk to you for a couple of months. I'll write I you a letter. So. No, Mm-mm. it'll get here in six weeks. I'm too needy for that. Hey, no <laughs> yeah. way. Yeah. Well, when you you watch The Crown, FYI, Luis and I are re-watching. Well, he's already seen it, so I am watching for the first time. Mm-hmm. He's re-watching The Crown. And um, holy moly, you will die. There's like, a, in the second season, they go on their Commonwealth tour, right? Uh-huh. And so the d- the husband goes for five months. Nope. He goes out and goes to all these other countries. No. Nope. And, she, and she doesn't find her. And she's over here just like... <laughs> The queen, like, <laughs> and I there's was like, no this way. This is not how I I would not function. It's not how I try to live my life. I don't think so. He's you you going on a trip? I'm coming. I'm marrying <laughs> people because I like them, not because I want to send them off. Yeah, yeah, no way. Yeah, I guess that makes. That makes but sense. um, alas, the father dies. He well, he takes <laughs> ill on the trip. Even before he dies, as soon as he's out of the house, Lady Tremaine <laughs> starts to take control. Right, so she goes. She goes. Oh, the the my two daughters. You know, they they bicker at each other all the time, and it's because they got a confined space here in this big old house, <laughs> this gigantic farmhouse. It's such a small space for them. Uh, they, they and they have to share a room. And Cinderella's like, uh, Ella is like, oh well, my room is actually the second biggest in the house next to yours and my dad's. So if they want, they can have my room, and I'll just take one of the other rooms. And Lady Germain's like, that's a great idea. You move out of your room, they'll move in there, and then you can go in the attic with all this garbage. How about you get up there right now? Take your bric a brac <laughs> up there. Take, Take your, your bric a brac. <laughs> Take your charge and get and gone. Go. Okay, peace. And Deuces. Ella, you know, because her mom told her to have courage and be kind. Listen, just because your mama told you to be kind doesn't mean you can't stand your ground. I'd be like, I ain't going up in no attic. But then Ella's like, oh, no one will bug me up here. I'm like, yeah, I guess that's a good part. That's but it. Louise I and I looked at each other. And we were like, straight truth. Ain't nobody going <laughs> to bug you up there, girl. But it's cold up there. It's drafty. Yeah. There's the, the mice. But. The, the mice, the mice and then are literally friends. like the next day the guy comes on his horse and is like your father well we don't it's not the next day probably it's probably a time, couple time is passing time is passed but um you, your father took ill on the road and and passed and here's this branch that you wanted it's like really sad oh right that's right the, <laughs> that the, was so sad the, and then the sisters are like where's what about my lace yeah, and the my two, parasol the two sisters they're like oh you're going on a trip well, can you get us some stuff from the town that you're going to we want some lace we want some some dresses whatever 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 and the dad is like oh well what do you want ella and she was like 
the first branch that touches your shoulder. As She's you weird. Wander through the forest. Bring that home to me, and you'll <laughs> think of me the entire time. And it'll be I thought it like, was okay. Weird. All right, get your get your branch, home girl. I thought that and was weird, but so the weird. the the <laughs> guy who's bringing the message brings her the branch, and she was just like torn up. You know, it was it's very sad. And then um, and the next scene, Kate Blanchett like <laughs> firing everybody. Kate Blanchett, Dude, yeah. Boom. She, she goes, we like, are ruined. <laughs> yeah, because that, if you think from her perspective, okay, she hasn't been with that guy very long, and then he died too. Yeah, she's ruined. Like, I don't know if she can get married again. They ain't got no <laughs> money. Like, you yeah, screwed, girlfriend. Yeah, the income girlfriend. has dried up, you know, because he went. He was out there making money, and now he's kaput, so the money ain't coming in no more. You know what I mean? Um, so so yeah, she she fires all of the staff. At and make Cinderella at do the it. farmhouse, well, and, Ella. and then <laughs> Ella, who's she's just so kind and so co- not courageous, but she's being very kind right now and going like, I guess I can take up some of the chores. They told her. They told her it's to distract her from her grief. Well, that's how she's justifying it for herself. She's saying that, like, no, no, it's okay. I'll do all of the chores, every no, single thing. No, Lady Tremaine told her that. Well, I know that she told her that, but Cinderella is agreeing with it and going, yeah. like, yeah, this yeah. is just like, give me more work. Me. I'll be distracted from my grief and my father's passing. It'll be fine. It's okay. I'll just wipe all of the floors. Dude, Lady Tremaine looked hot and all black, though, with her 5, big old square earrings foot and house. stuff. <laughs> Can't blit, Kalula, Kate Blanchett. Can, can get it. <laughs> <laughs> she could get it. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, basically, as time goes on, Lady and I Jermaine, like that they always had her in green because it's funny because she was always in green in Thor Ragnarok too. Like, with oh, the that's NB right. It's a good thing, color on her. But like, yeah, no, she works it. That I'm trying black to think. Green thing. I think I think in the Rodgers and Hammerstein version, that stepmother is wearing green a lot too. But like the Lady Tremaine from the animated Cinderella, she's just in kind of that purple black, yeah, sk- spooky scary outfit. Yeah, her and Lucifer, gray hair mm-hmm. yeah, and her gray hair. She is literally the scariest thing <laughs> that that I can remember from my young childhood. Yeah, I did no, not want to mess with no Lady mm-hmm. Tremaine or her little Lucifer cat. Get out of here. <laughs> kitty um kitty and he's still there i guess we should touch on that lucifer and the mice are still there yes just in a non-talking way which is good they're all still well lucifer's a real cat but the mice are all cgi yeah um which is interesting they, they come in and they do you know some small very small little cutesy, things, cutesy but characteristic things but it's it's really yeah. not overdone it's 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 kind of nice they don't talk they don't really have too much personality but it, it's there just a little bit they pop up Every once in a while, and Cinderella Gus, is, Gus friends, is the mice. one who eats the most. Yeah, and Jacqueline. They're always setting up cheese on tiny little baby mice tables and stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> on little thimbles. Jacqueline, yeah. <laughs> which is funny. Um, so yeah, she's 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 partying with the mice um, and and doing all the chores and getting more and more tortured as as time goes on. You know, at one point. Um, it gets too cold for her to go sleep up in the attic after she's finished all her chores because it takes her until three in the morning to finish all of her. Dude, I know. I was chores. like three a.m. Oh no. She's like, okay, well, it's time to go to bed. Oh well, the attic is basically frozen over. I guess I'm not going up there, so I'll sleep by the fire right here, um, down on the hearth. And then she wakes up the next day and she's making breakfast or whatever. And they're like, Ella, what is all over your face, girl? You got to stop sleeping by the 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 the, the fire pit or whatever. The fire pit? <laughs> you cinders. You, you you out here ashy, you looking ashy, ashy face. And <laughs> we're gonna have to start calling you Cinderella. I was like, oh snap, Cinderella's not her name. It's a bird. It's a huge. <laughs> <big. laughs> it's a bird. Yeah, it's a straight bird. Yeah, that was a freaking scorched and burned. Yeah. I was she, like, she, oh. They roasted her, li- literally. Um. Which is which is interesting, Cindy. Because you know, in my notes, I've been calling her Cinderella this whole time, and then as soon as the stepsisters say it in this derogatory way, I was like, "Oh my God, what have I done?" Yeah. <laughs> Cinderella, well, Cinderella, the same thing with Dumbo. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, his name is Dumbo. Oh, no, his no, name is Jumbo not. Junior. You <laughs> evil cretins. <laughs> It's Jumbo Junior. It's Jumbo Junior. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so they they proceed to refer to Ella as Cinderella for basically the rest of the movie. Um, which is which is hurtful. She's like, it's not my fault that I have to sleep on the dirty floor. Yeah, that Your that fault. got to her. I mean, that would get to me. This too. is my house. I've been living here for sixteen years. <laughs> you guys just got here. It's not a, um, 
it's messed up and and it's at this point in the movie where like my violent tendencies start rising up and i'm yeah. like ella you need to smack some mess out these ladies mouths okay i'm telling you <laughs> you, need to, to you find should not be taking this and you need <laughs> to be <laughs> <the> arsenic <laughs> you need to be mixing it girl <laughs> oh there's Let's for sure at this where's point, the ricin at right? this put point, it in well, the I, food i told andre the opposite i said andre would be like i'm about to smack them all i'm gonna mess them up and i was like oh i'm going into town flirting with all the dudes trying to get married right now <laughs> get me out of here <laughs> like <laughs> please just marry me somebody so i can get the heck out of this house which is hilarious because then the next scene she's riding she's on a horse and she's like riding yeah through she's like i'm gonna run away like, I'm and, done I with these ladies. and i'm like i didn't even know she had like Writing abilities. I'd be like, never in the house. Like, I ain't Well, basically, house. if she leaves, she's going to die because she's 16 and no one's going to take her in. Like, you're an orphan. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. And, like, a, a kind of at least stable guy is probably not going to take her in. It's not like she's unqualified, though. If, you know, if all them other farmhands got fired, she could have, you know, tiptoed after them, followed them to the next farmhouse and, you know, done some chores <laughs> She didn't want to leave the house, though. <laughs> it's her mom's house. Right, 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 obviously. Her <sighs> family's house. But, uh, yeah, so she, she is kind of running away in this scene. She rides her horse through the woods, and as she's riding, um, she meets a gigantic stag, a big old, big old deer. Yeah, that's... um antlers and all of his decorating <laughs> yes <laughs> there's antlers and all of his decorating <laughs> that's right um she meets the stag and the hunting party that is that is after it um comes in close and she's like run stag get out get out of here animal and then and then, and then and then it leaves and she meets kit the 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 prince we who we we realize prince is Charming. the prince immediately um, but but she does not. He tries to hide his identity by saying, well, my name's Kit. <laughs> and his name's Kit Kit. Kit Kit. Kit Jr. Kit or Kat. Whatever. <laughs> Kit Kat. And, um, and he's an apprentice. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Which is hilarious. I'm an apprentice at the royal, uh, you know, this thing. I'm learning stuff. Um, so she doesn't think he's a prince. And he doesn't know who she is. She doesn't say her name. She doesn't say where she's from or anything He's like just that. like strange lady in the like, woods. I dig Hello, it. Hello, <laughs> forest lady. What's going on? And she I wins wonder. him over very quickly because she's like, this stag does not need to be killed by you today, <laughs> sir. Right. Yeah. Me and him, we looked into each other's eyes and we agreed we that this is too much animal abuse today. He's like, okay, I And guess. he was like, you're right. All right. I guess we'll <laughs> He was like, oh, I can't argue with that. And also, you're really hot. Eat. So. Yeah, I'm going to do what you say. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure, Louis. Louis is making obscene gestures. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> Ella's cute, man. She's very cute. Yeah. So is the prince. Yeah. Right. They're, I mean, they're, they're Bucky is okay. <laughs> he does not look like Bucky. Let Rob, me show you a picture Louis, of Rob does he Stark. Look like Bucky. Dude, that's Bucky. <laughs> with a with a shaved face. I gotta that's, show you a picture uh, yeah. of Rob Stark. <laughs> <laughs> clucky. It's <laughs> Bucky and Clucky. <laughs> yeah. Barnes. Um, Bucky Barnes. Is this him in Game of Thrones? He still looks, still looks like Bucky. Not cute. Yeah. What? No. Mm. Well, Rob Stark is... Oh, um, no. I guess... Is he the hot one of them? He's the oldest. He's the oldest, but he's not the hot one. What's the hot one? John Snow. One that, yeah, John Snow. Anyway. No, he's much better looking than this. Right. Anyhow. So, yeah. um, yes. so, he agrees to not kill the stag. He, he goes home. Um, to the palace, and he's telling everybody, like, bro, I met this forest girl, and she's, like, crazy this fine, and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm straight up in love with her. I'm going to try to marry her if I can. My dad's, like, on my case. He's trying to get me to marry a princess, like Aladdin's dad. <laughs> or not Aladdin's dad, uh, Jasmine's dad. <laughs> it's very similar. He's like, you must marry a princess. Um, even though I know that's not what your heart wants. Man, they should have just the been kingdom the same needs. time period, and then... <laughs> He could have married Jasmine, and we would have we got to skip <laughs> Aladdin altogether. Bye, bro. <laughs> and this movie. We don't need no genie. He's out, Cinderella. <laughs> um, uh, so, so yeah, he he's he he wants to. Um, Aladdin and Cinderella would have made a good match. Yeah. Yeah. You're poor. I'm poor. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. You ain't got no skills. I got barely any skills. Let's do I can steal. <laughs> I can clean. Let's start business together. You talk to animals. I got a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm in. J- I'm in jail, uh, Cinderella. <laughs> Again, sorry. <laughs> yeah, they'd they'd be uh, the poverty couple, I think for sure. Oh, it, it would not turn out very well. One jump. <laughs> um, one swing. I had a sword. So, in order to to appease his father, the prince. Uh, calls for a ball. He's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll meet some ladies. Having a ball. I'll meet, I'll meet some princess ladies or whatever. But 
the prince in order to appease the entire kingdom let's invite everybody not just oh the yeah let's let's please the people to the ball okay and nah nah dude you're trying my, to find your girl maybe my me. forest girl show up <laughs> Forest girl. I keep thinking he's Forest treating girl. her like 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 she's like Legolas. Like what what <laughs> what's that the the white elf the the one that's like you shall. Live. She's like that's Kate Blanchett. Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> He's treating her like that, like the forest girl. <laughs> is her name What's her name? Galadriel? No, that's the other one. Yeah, it well, is. No, yeah. it is Galadriel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, though, no, it's not. Hold on. Oh, yes. you're you're talking about. Um, We're talking about two different people. Yes, it's not Galadriel. You're talking about what's her name? Um, I'm talking about Clay- Kate Blanchett. Yeah, that's Galadriel. Kate Blanchett oh. is Galadriel. She's like the you're head elf. You're thinking about the red-headed elf. Yes. Yeah. That's not. You're thinking of Aerosmith's daughter. Mm-hmm. What was her name? Um, the girl that Legolas was obsessed with. It's yeah. not Legolas who's obsessed with. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah it's from The Hobbit. Yeah. Oh, from The Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, man. Legolas is. That's he's like obsessed actress. with her. I thought her Lily name was something. Lily Evans. The no. Wasp. Yes. Yeah, The Wasp. Yeah, The Wasp. But what's the, the elf's name? <laughs> Taladriel? <laughs> Not Taladriel. <laughs> <laughs> it's from The Hobbit. That's we with just. The Tamriel? Ta- Tariel. Tariel. It's Tariel. Yes. Is it's she even in the first movie? She's Goodness. in The Shut Hobbit. Up. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Hobbit, babe. Tauriel. I'm looking at the Hobbit. It's Tauriel. There's so many good characters. There's Thranduil. <gasps> oh. Thranduil's my favorite character uh, in The Hobbit. It's Tauriel. No, my favorite name. character is The Hobbit. He's so <laughs> funny. Play uh, some play some background music while I'm looking this up. Do do. The prince is having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> the prince is having a ball. <laughs> it's definitely Tauriel. Just Google Tauriel. We'll look it up right now. T A U R I E L. No, like Tauriel. Tariel. It's T A U R I E L. The character's name is Tariel. She's played by Evangeline Lilly. That's what I in said. Peter Jackson's The Hobbit Didn't series. Didn't I say Lily Evans? You. <laughs> yeah, that is what you said. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That's the same thing. Evangeline Lilly. Wait, how do you spell Tariel? T A U R I E L. Like I said. Like yep. she said. <laughs> Tariel. Anyway, Lily I thought Evans. you. I thought you, I thought you were talking about uh, the other elf from The Lord of the Rings. Who is Kate Blanchett? <laughs> no, the other one, the one who's Aerosmith's daughter. Oh, what? Who's that yeah, one? yeah, yeah. The She's, one um, who was Agent Smith's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? right? The one who was with Aragorn. Yes, Aragorn's boo thing. Uh, what? Aragorn's boon thing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the boon thing. <laughs> <laughs> the dark-haired elf. And she's got them big old Aerosmith lips. Louise, you know this. What's her name? What is her name? Louise freaking loves this lady and he won't say what her name is. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. Come on. Louise is buffering over there. You Hang guys, on. I swear we're nerds. We're just blanking. <laughs> okay, his name is Aragorn and her <laughs> name is Arwen and she's played by Arwen. Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler. Uh, what's her name? Arwen. Liv Tyler. Can I see a picture of her as the elf? <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's it. Oh. oh, oh! She's barely in it. I mean, she's, she's in all three movies. I think she's, she's a pretty big character. But I wasn't thinking her. Though. I was thinking Tariel. But in a movie with fifty main characters, you know, it's kind of hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. What were we talking about? <laughs> we, were talk- we were talking about <laughs> his forest girl and how he's like, "Yeah, you my forest girl, <laughs> Tariel. Right. You are gonna be my Tariel. You gonna be my Arwen." His Tariel. Good. That's how I feel he was his treating tar-real. her. Like he was obsessed with her. Like I think at one point in the movie he's like, I'm gonna find her even though she doesn't want to be found. Oh, he oh, and yeah. I was yeah. like, hey, You need to that. chill. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no Tariel. She's the Women's Haven Center back up. Yeah. yeah. Like, chill out. Um so yeah, so he invites everybody to the ball. That's when we start singing the prince is having a ball. Um The Prince is having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Cinderella, Ella goes back to her house. Ella, She's Ella. like, uh, uh, "Evil stepmom, evil stepsisters, what's going on? I'm here to talk to you. Uh, they're they're throwing a ball, and we all get to go. Isn't that super fun and exciting?" And then they go, "Yay! It's super fun and exciting." Uh, Ella, go to the to the dress to the seamstress. Tell her to whip us up three beautiful dresses. And Ella's like, "Oh my god." You're making a dress for me? And they're like, have you been here for the last six months? No, we're not making a dress for you. You suck. We hate you. (laughs) The third dress is for me, the hot stepmom. Get out of (laughs) here. 
Yeah, she's really harsh. Galadriel. <laughs> <laughs> Only Galadriel gets to have a dress. <laughs> Yo, how come Kate Blanchett always plays really intense characters? She's an intense she's lady. Freaking she's got an intense face. It's her bone structure. Yeah, man. man. She's yeah. got this this thing going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even her smiles are intimidating. You know? <laughs> Scary lady. Um so is it the Lord of the Rings or is it the Hobbit where she does that really scary? I think it's the Lord of the I think Rings. It's the Lord of the She's Rings doing it she in front of Frodo. Scary, like, rawr, yeah, yeah. Rawr, rawr, thinking you're like, oh my god. I'm pretty sure it's in Lord of the Rings because I remember we watched <gasps> Hobbit and then we got to Lord of the Rings. I was like, what happened to her? <laughs> is she okay? I got angry in the past fifty years. Like I understand that you got the hots for um, what's his face, not Dumbledore. What's Gandalf. <laughs> Gandalf, but <laughs> <Shut> calm down. <laughs> Gandalf has led me on red for thirty five years. Dude, he. I'm has. tired of it. She loves. Um, <laughs> she wants some Gandalf show. So, <laughs> and she's still recovering from that one outburst. Got slighted. Sixty years later. Mm, yeah. 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 It's like high school. <laughs> um, I love fantasy Are shows. Are we talking about Cinderella guys? <laughs> no. No, we're definitely talking about Lord of the Rings this now. It's become okay. a Lord of the Rings podcast. Comparable. That's okay. Um, Pretty much the same movie, if you ask me. So. After yeah. Ella does her chores and goes talking to the seamstress, looking for the slipper, looking gets, for the ring, gets the dresses for these, these th- three cronies or whatever. Um, she decides that she's like, you know what? That's not gonna get me down. I'm gonna just make my own dress. She finds an old dress of her mother's. She refits it. She makes it for herself. She's like, check me out. I'm pretty hot. Okay, look at this. I did it all by myself. Check I'm it out. I'm not gonna lie though. That dress was not cute. Uh, I was kind of like, ooh. I mean, well, well I don't like pink though. Well, what makes me sad is that she's. I think the hard part is that she doesn't get it. Yeah. Like she doesn't get the disdain for her. She so still she so she keeps trying and keeps getting she's let getting down. Burned. Yeah. You know, like she comes down the stairs. She's like, "I'm ready to go. I've got." Because she's out. she's too naive still. Yeah. Like she you is. Guys naive. didn't buy that's me a dress, me. but I made one. But then that's Cinderella for you, though. Like she's mm. naive. You know, that's she's so only sad. sixteen, but she's like that in the animated too, where she's really naive. Right. Mm. And she's like, "I'll do all these chores." And don't be mean. Nobody will be nice to me, but I'm still gonna have a smile. On I my did face. miss Bruce. Bruce wasn't Bruce her doggy. Oh, yes. Oh <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> Rufus was it Bru- Rufus? Bru- mm, I, don't oh, I, Rufus? I don't remember this dog at all. I'm thinking of the dog from the Little Mermaid for some reason. Max, that's the one. Um, so yes, Rufus. <laughs> Ella, Ella is trying to be like, check me out. I made this dress. Do- Bruno. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruno. Can I see a picture of the dog? Yeah, he she was given to Cinderella okay. by her father before he died. Mm. So this part, I literally looked at Luis because Addy was in the room watching it. And I looked at him and I was like, dude, when she comes down the stairs with her pink dress on mm-hmm. and they're going to go to the ball, mm-hmm. I was like, we got to be ready at like a moment's notice to turn this off if it gets too bad. Because oh. I don't know if you remember, but in the animated version, this oh, they're going like, at it. Like they, they tear her apart. Almost like they're assaulting her. Like, like it is not. It is assault. It's not cool. And so in this one, I was like, oh my god, we're gonna have to be ready because they could like <laughs> lunge at her. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, I didn't think there was gonna be like a Janet Jackson moment, but like you never know what could happen, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it was quick, but it was still like very sad. Oh yeah, it yeah. was super hurtful, but they're at like, least it, it wasn't girl, as bad as in the. In you the are one. not going to the ball. I don't care what you made. This is you. You put on rags, as far as I'm concerned. They start ripping the dress. And then she's like, and <laughs> <laughs> it would be embarrassing to show up with you. It's like, oh. Okay. No. She's like, I don't want anyone to associate you with my daughters. And I was like, if I'm if I'm Ella in this situation, I agree. I don't want to be associated with yeah, you or your daughters. I will girls. be on the other side of the ball. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my gosh. So they deject her. They deny her entry to the ball. She does not get to go. They're they're leaving without her. Um, so Cinderella, she's she's crying because that that was pretty rough. Um, Heck yeah. And then Helena Bellina shows <laughs> up. <laughs> Love me some Helena Bellina. So Luis is like, did she just pop out the wall? <laughs> yeah, she he didn't what? see her be the old lady. Huh? Helena Bellina. Yeah, but oh, like, yeah, she, she popped out of the wall. Practically, she materialized. She's a fairy. <laughs> He's like, I'm pretty sure she just kind of like. So she, up. Cinderella's like on the on the balcony crying, and I don't know why it doesn't freak her out more that there's like an old lady mm-hmm. like in the back of her house just sitting there because I would be freaked out. Mm-hmm. But there's old lady like, hey, do you have any like food or drink? And she's like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like a Beauty and the Beast moment. Right. Like, I'll Beauty get you something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she does. And then the fairy godmother's like, okay, she's good. Mm-hmm. You know, it was kind of like a, 
like a little pretest. Like a pretest. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. And then um, I don't know why they decided to CG her though as the old lady. Like they could have just put makeup on her. It was very interesting. Like I thought look. that was odd. Well, Luis was like, "Oh, that's Helena Bellina," and I'm like. Is it though? Cause I could not tell when she was the old lady that it was her. I could tell it was her. I could tell it was her, but they they definitely did some weird stuff with her with her makeup. So like she's wearing prosthetics mm-hmm. for sure around her face, but then I think they they're enhancing it with CGI, and I'm I'm very loosely saying enhancing because <laughs> it does not look good. It looks really weird. Like they could have just put old lady makeup in how they do in musicals. Yeah, sure, and and, it w- and that would have been fine. But then also. When she reveals herself to be the fairy godmother, I feel like she's CGI then too, isn't she? Mm, I, I no. don't know how much CGI she has, but she definitely like, got fake teeth in. Yeah, those teeth are definitely uh, now I gotta not look at, her teeth. I gotta look at this. Oh, Andre mouth. was like, "Dude, she has <laughs> fake teeth," and I was like, "I think you're right, but I think she's British." Because I think, like, I don't think her teeth are. I think they were trying to go nice. with like a mm-hmm. well, the fairy godmother is a fairy, so she's perfect, so she has perfect teeth, and Helena, Helena Bellina, you know, your teeth is is not as perfect as we need. I them love to be. Helena. So we're gonna Bellina. have to. Have you throw in these? Uh, What's her these actual dentures? name? Helena Bonham Carter. Bonham. Uh, Why do I always call- say Helena? We always call her Helena Bellina. Because Luis called her Helena Bellina <laughs> once, and it was <laughs> and done. And it stuck. She was once married to Tim Burton mm-hmm. himself, um, and she makes out with Johnny Depp in all of his movies. Isn't yep. That, isn't that fun? Um, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just felt the need to. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. That's that was weird. The slurping sound. Helena um, Bellina Carter. Your teeth are fine. Uh, I mean, they're not they're not perfect. I don't know. But, but her teeth in this were definitely they were definitely like, fake. But they I definitely but they stood out. Yeah. Yes. Like I was looking and at like, her face. They and made I was her like, speak oh. differently. Like you yeah. could hear her her lips over her over her words. But I still think that this is probably where I had to disconnect the most. Like I love Helena Bellina, and she was a good fairy godmother. But it wasn't like the fairy godmother that I necessarily wanted for this movie. And I don't know if they were just trying to give it like a little more joy in the moment. Um, and the fairy godmother is kind of kooky, like even in the animated one. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I don't know how I felt about her performance per se overall. It probably was my least favorite, like out of most of the characters' interpretations. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess I, I guess I do agree with that because the the teeth thing was it was throwing me <laughs> off. But if you the just, time. if you just take <laughs> away the teeth, though, well, uh, well, yeah. that's like, well, you know how I feel about Christian Bale's teeth, and he bothers me the entire time yeah. in Batman. Yeah. So I mean, you can't take away the teeth. <laughs> that's true. Like he's always got teeth. Rico. I am vengeance. I am underbite, and then he attacks. Especially when he's got the mask on, it's just extra obvious. <laughs> <laughs> teeth are weird. I don't know. Yeah. Very uh, uh, standing out. Um, Good God. So yeah, yeah. I mean, she she is a, an interesting fairy godmother, but I don't I don't dislike the, I the like interpretation. Her. I, don't, I don't dislike it. So I I kind of okay. I'm not. I don't know how I feel about her as much. She it wasn't stand out. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Well, but so, I so. really liked the way the magic was portrayed mm-hmm. in a real life fashion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I liked how she was like asking for. The food, like, what did she ask for before Come she asked? <laughs> a co- yeah, she's yeah. asking for like a melon or like a this beef or a tomato. That. Beef, beef tomato. tomato. <laughs> <laughs> so she's asking for all these different foods for the carriage, and she's like, "No, but I think we have a pumpkin." And I thought that was pretty masterful. So mm-hmm. they go inside a um, glass. Yeah, she's like, "I don't usually work with squashes because they're too mushy." <laughs> and I'm like, "I feel you, girl. I had right. a lot of I squash." Think that was like a greenhouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A like a glass greenhouse. greenhouse. Yeah, they, they ruined her greenhouse. And she starts doing the bibbity bobbity magic, mm-hmm. and it made sense that it got so big that it pretty much <laughs> burst the greenhouse. It blew up the whole yeah. greenhouse. And man. then everything re magicked itself into a glass. Right. Carriage. They, they still used really smart. the mice and the lizard and the goose to be like the coachman and the horses and the. Whatever you call it. Driver. Driver. And it's like, I'm a goose. I cannot footman. drive. So I... <laughs> I'm just well, a ghost. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the interpretation of the way they looked when they turned human. It was interesting. Because um, they all kept their... The lizard light. was so freaky to me. If I had to see his lizard teeth one more time, I was going <laughs> to... It's, it's, it's kind of cool because it kind of puts all of the fairy godmother's magic into perspective. She can only hold these spells that she's casting 
until midnight of tonight. Right? Except for the shoes, because she said she knows how to make those herself. Sure, she's good at shoes or whatever. I don't know what what the difference is between shoes and a pumpkin uh, pumpkin carry. She good at shoes, man. But she's good at shoes. Well, and I told Luis, I said maybe it's because like the shoe. Well, and this is it wasn't made from anything. I was gonna say she like, just she made, she it made it herself, it, right? So it's that's like the magic that can just if be you done. Like, it. why didn't you just make her a dress and make her a carriage? Like, if you good at other things, <laughs> yeah, girl. can you conjure some other stuff? She's but only yeah. good at shoes. I'm <laughs> if you put it in like Harry Potter terms, if this is all transfiguration, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, then she most can of the only time, polyjuice for so long, right? Most of the time, when you transfigure yeah. something, it will transfigure itself back unless you're keeping That's up with true. that. With That's that good spell. way of putting it. So, so yeah, she transfigures everything except for the shoes, which she just conjures out of thin air, and so those are what what stay. But the fact that her stuff is only holding till midnight kind of makes sense as to why when she turns the the mice into horses their ears are still kind of big and when she turns the lizards into people they still got green scaly skin and stuff like that and half yeah. tails and whatnot and, and mr goose has the honker yeah he's got so a big old nose big old <laughs> his nose. prosthetic is huge and i love it <laughs> big old nose he was my big yeah nose. i thought that was fine i liked all of that yeah and then on her way she goes to the ball man Oh, and then she gets a new dress as well. Yeah. Right. So is this so. is this is really funny to me. She goes, she goes. Uh, one more thing, fairy godmother. Could you could you maybe mend my dress? It's the only dress I have. I can't wear this dress to the ball. And then mm. <laughs> fairy godmother's like, Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna whip you up something nice. This is gonna be tight. And then Ella's like, No no no. This is my mother's dress, and I want it to stay the same. And and fairy godmother's like. All Can right, I make it? Well, blue? I'm gonna just I'm gonna just do just a little bit, just a just a tiny upgrade. And, and I was like, like a okay, sure. Dress. And she makes her a 100. percent I literally dress. was like, that is not your mom's <laughs> dress at all anymore. She changed and the frills, like, changed the color. The material would love is still it. the same. I guess. Uh, <laughs> questionable. I will say long. though that the color of the dress is the most magnificent thing yes. mm-hmm. on the planet. Stands like out pretty yeah. well in the ball. Looks Just the way good. that the light hits it. Like, I almost want to say it's well, like Well, I feel like they CG'd sparkle yeah. on top of it, but it's so good. Well, and all <laughs> Helena Bellina and Ella are both, like, coated in rhinestones and glitter. Oh, yeah. I like, read they a literally have, like, rhinestones on their body, like, in... Like it in their hair. I'm okay stuff. with it. Oh yeah, I'm not mad about it. I read it. a fact earlier that Lily James, who plays Cinderella, has ten thousand Swarovski crystals littered throughout the dress and her hair. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, oh, no wonder everybody it. was looking at her in the ball. Oh, Swarovski. Yeah, yeah she, she got those yeah. Swarovski questions. She's shining. Okay, so this is the next conversation I want to get into, and Andre was reading an article about whether it was enhanced. CG wise or not, oh, yes. but right. I thought her waist looked too skinny. Like they had made it skinnier. Really? Like, did you feel that way when you saw it in I her did dress? Not, but then when you t- <laughs> when you texted it, you're like, her waist is small. Like I'm when I was, I mean, that. I know people wear corsets, and yeah. I've seen like plenty of time pieces where people are wearing corsets and they look, yeah. you know, like they have the waist. But there was something about hers where I was like, there's no way. Oh, like no, I, I literally was like, ooh, like I kind of had like this ooh in me, like a little bit uncomfortable. But there was a debate whether people were like, oh, was her waist like CG'd or not? Oh, yeah. Um. So apparently there was controversy over that, but um, according to Lily James and Kenneth Branagh, Lily James's waist before even starting the movie is like a twenty-four inch waist or something like that, something crazy small. And that for every dress she had to wear a corset, and during the dance, um, uh, oh, during during the dancing, and so with her thin waist, the corsets, and the poof from the blue dress, the perspective makes her waist look unnaturally thin. But it's that's that's her waist. I was uncomfortable. I was that's uncomfortable it. at points. No I was CGI. like, but if you Dang. think about it, the poof on that's the dress true. was huge. Yeah. Huge. Like I told Andre, dress. I was like, I want to put that dress on, but I bet it was so freaking heavy. Oh like, yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. back just hurts thinking about <laughs> it. This was so cute when, like, the scene before they go to the ball, the two sisters, um, Cinderella's helping them get into their dresses, mm-hmm. and they're bouncing around in like the wire meshy. <laughs> right for their poofs. The poof thing, <laughs> and Louis's like, "Is that really what they put under there?" I'm like, "Apparently, mm-hmm. yeah, that would be so it's hard." A whole to bunch wear of layers. Annoying. Yeah, it seems uncomfortable. It looks like a dog toy, like cut in half, like you know those like rubber ball things. That okay, I'm gonna show with. you this photo <laughs> from behind, and don't you feel like it looks like it's abnormally thin? Oh. You never felt like that when you were watching the movie, though? Well, I was too taken with the dress. Oh, I I was looking at at her waist. I was. I was looking at the sparkles. It looks like abnormally thin. The blue dress apparently has 270 yards of fabric used and up to two miles of hem. 
I don't even know what that means. How? <laughs> it's like the hemming on the dress. Right. How do you get two miles in this one, <laughs> in one person? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they and also they made a whole whole bunch of dresses. Um. So yeah. So she makes her a completely different dress than the one that her mother, <laughs> like the one that her mother made or whatever. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Cinderella gets to gets to head out. And she she rides uh, off into the distance. She shows up late to the ball, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody so everybody's looking at her like, well, "Girl, you're late." Everybody's arriving at the ball uh, on time, right, ahead of her. And Lady Tremaine and the stepsisters step out, and they're like, "Introduce us. I'm beautiful. She's clever." La da 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 da. And <laughs> and they're going all slow or whatever. And the announcer. Um, uh, I think the announcer says later, like, hey, how come you didn't announce uh, the, the blue dress girl when she came in? He's like, I was tired. My lips was tired from <laughs> saying all these other people's names. That was so funny. There was Heck one specific funny. name. It was it was like, crazy long name. Guten Tag and Yeah. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> from Schnickel. <laughs> it was very funny. Wow. Um, so, yeah, when Cinderella arrives, everybody's already at the party or whatever and when she opens the door they all turn their heads to look up at her and they go oh, wow look at the 10,000 yeah, crystals it, in her hand because if you're looking at moment. the style of like Cinderella's dress versus all of the other dresses which are very timepiece and hers like very much stands out like yeah. the color like that was not a color people were wearing no. you know what I mean so yeah that's gonna draw like a lot of attention because like that wasn't the style it's almost like having like a neon yellow dress right mm -hmm. yeah at a Christmas party. Like, it just doesn't, you <laughs> yeah. know, it just Whoa. stings out. Like, you're going to stand out. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I like that they had the contrasting colors, too. True. I don't remember if they did this in the animated version or not, but I really appreciated that right before Cinderella left, Helena Bellina was like, and here's a little extra magic so that nobody recognizes right. you. Yeah. Boom! Or not mm -hmm. nobody, but you're stupid. Yeah. Don't mm -hmm. recognize The homies you. don't, at the very least. So, that was nice. Which is cool. Um, so she walks into that ball, she owns it, and she's like, oh, my God, Kit, okay, let's do this. Yeah, that prince here. straight up is like, <laughs> peace out, princess, whatever your face. I got to go get this one. Yeah. Uh, she makes that's, a beeline to Kit. <laughs> <laughs> that's Galadriel. I'm going for her. <laughs> Tario. <laughs> Tario. And, that's um, my elf, son. And so they, they, start, they start vibing immediately. They're, they're dancing. They're, they're, they're swaying. Uh, the music is, is grooving. It's a bop. And everybody we is, waltzing. Everybody's we watching. doing the thing. Mm -mm. And they're all like, wow, where'd this lady come from? They're <laughs> like, I don't know. I ain't never seen her before. She's high. Wow. Oh, she's crazy high. I wish I was as hot as her. Uh, this, that's, that's mostly just Anastasia. Oh, that'd be me Gisella. too. If I saw her, I'd be like, dang, I look like crap. <laughs> <laughs> where'd you get that dress? Mom, why'd you get us these trash dresses? <laughs> Instead of one Stupid of those. Stupid Ella did this. <laughs> like, um, yeah, so I think during the party they're able to slip away yeah. and, and start chit-chatting and stuff like that, which is so nice. This is and while they're doing mm -hmm, that, the, mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the higher-ups <laughs> in the castle, the duke <laughs> and, like, the head of security or whatever, they're talking about the prince and, like... Skarsgård. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skarsgård from Thor again. From Thor. <laughs> He's like, uh, the prince cannot marry this common forest girl or whatever. <laughs> He's like... What's about to the future of the country? Uh, actually... And they think that she's a princess this whole time. Well, Kit definitely does. Yeah. Because, like... Yeah, he says, like, your highness. Yeah. Yes, yes. And <laughs> I was like, Cinderella, you weren't like, I ain't a highness. She was like, mm -hmm, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You can call me highness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct. Whatever um, you want, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so the Duke is like, actually, it kind of doesn't matter who he chooses because I already promised homie over to the princess of uh, Chilla, Chilla, Chilla. Whatever. Chilina. Some other. Whatever. Chilina. Something like that. <laughs> And the stepmom, Lady Tremaine, she's walking by. She's like, ooh, that's some interesting information that I promised to never share <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, Lady Tremaine <laughs> trifling. <laughs> she trifling. Yeah, she, she be trifling throughout <laughs> this movie. Um, this is one of her most trifling moments. And, <laughs> and so she takes that information and starts concocting plans or whatever with it, right? Um, immediately. Immediately. So she, uh, uh, Ella and Kit are, are chit-chatting away. She finds out that he's actually the prince. She's like, oh, wow, I had no idea that you organized this whole party uh, that, I, that I came to. See, to. see, that's why she's so naive. I'm like, really? You don't even know who your own prince is? Right, In the yeah. kingdom that you live in? Town. You live there for your whole life. You don't know who who's hanging out over there in that big old palace? Yeah. Anyway, I guess, you know, they don't get the newspaper out of the house. Um <laughs> Uh, so they're they're talking. At one point, he takes so her stupid. he takes her to a secret garden. Oh um, yeah, a secret garden. He's, he's like, like, I never show nobody. I this. I don't take girls. I got a swing. Time, okay, this is my swing. <laughs> we were making a lot of swing jokes at this point that are very explicit and we cannot say. But 
ride it. No, my God, it's sweet. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so Ella hey, hops, we didn't say nothing. Yeah, nothing. Ella hops on the swing. Yeah, but you made me think things. And her foot. <laughs> That's her, not my fault. Her glass slipper pops off somehow. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> don't do the sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> it just <laughs> popped no. right off of her foot. And no. <laughs> and he's like, whoa, your shoe is made of glass. That's crazy. And she's I, like, why not? <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> why not? Because glass is not very giving. You can't really use it as a shoe. It doesn't move like your foot needs to move. That's <laughs> why. And she's like, mm, magic. And um, <laughs> so he's like, may I? And he puts, puts the shoe back on. He's like, I like the way this feels. And she's like, thanks. And, <laughs> and then the clock starts striking midnight. That was like <clears throat> not allowed. Okay. <laughs> you cannot just lift up somebody's dress to put their shoe on. Especially. He's a gentleman. No. He only touched the bottom of her soul. You uh, know? He's like, let me oh, touch your soul, the baby. Soul. <laughs> let me touch them souls. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, S O U L. The clock is striking. S O L E. Oh, I know, but he was trying to touch that soul. The clock oh, is striking yeah. midnight. Midnight. So Ella is like, "Uh oh, curfew time. Gotta Dude, go." Straight up, he's like about to kiss her, and she's like, "I gotta go. I gotta this go. was nice. I couldn't possibly stay here for another second. And so she has to fly out of the whole palace. And it's a it's a big palace, right? So like in the in the animated version, she's kind of just like, oh, it's midnight, I gotta go, and she's immediately running down the steps. But in here, she has to kind of weave her way back through the party. So on her way, she kind of bumps into the king, and she's like, oh my god, you're the king. Uh, I just want to let you know, your prince, uh, the your son, he's like the best dude I've ever met. He's awesome. He loves you a lot. Peace out, dude. <laughs> and the king she is has like, a good little peace out. I am taken with her. She is. Uh, she's legit. She's legit. <laughs> Too legit. Too, Too legit quit. to quit. I say. Dude, so as she's running through the palace, and especially when she's running down the steps, I kept thinking of that song, that part in Indiana Jones where you know the little, the little things go back and forth. And then they go. <laughs> Just so you guys know, she's doing things with her body. I have no idea what you're talking about. I you know that scene no I'm talking about on Indiana about. Jones? What are you doing? In with the your ride mouth? or yeah, the, the movie? ride? Okay, you, you know, need to specify little, that. The little skeleton dudes are on the wall and the air's going. <laughs> when they're shooting you. When they're shooting you with and the, that song during that, that time. The poison darts. Yeah. There's. <laughs> 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 we need to go back to a video podcast. That's how she was running away. She was like, ah, to the tune of the of the Indiana Jones. Like ride. she's trying to dodge the little spears that are yeah. being shot at her. Okay. Yeah, because they was running after her. The gotcha. whole cavalry was up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Whatever, you that, guys. This is how my brain works. That makes sense. Sure, sure, sure. I got it. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. So, Louise is shaking his head. No. Ella is running down the stairs. Mm -hmm. She's got to get out of there. Um, and the prince, he's like, "Bruh, that girl blew my mind. We gotta, we gotta get her. Let's everybody chase after her." No, that no, that he's gonna, he wants to go after her. And the duke is like, "This could be a ploy to to, to lure, lure you away from, from, from the, the castle. castle." So we'll go. It's and a I'm security like, risk. So you're okay with your soldiers running after the girl that just said, "I gotta go. Leave me alone." They're the secret service. Like, this that's, is that's not job. how it works. You know? Um, no, that's exactly how it works. Exactly how it works. Get I know, her. <laughs> chase her down. Oh um, snap. <laughs> So they chase, they give chase, um, and she she runs down the steps. She drops another shoe. I don't know what's wrong with the sizing on these bad boys. You think that the glass you would think wouldn't pop off so easily? Oh, uh, Andre <laughs> made it. <laughs> Bellina being a perfect shoemaker <laughs> yeah. would be better. Well, and at Andre this. made a good point earlier when he when he when she earlier. took her when she earlier. took her slippers off yeah. to do the glass service. He's like, now what she should do is put those in her purse so she can put them on later so she can get her run on. Home and I was girl. like, exactly, oh, okay. Yeah, you know you gotta like put your woman, flippy Andre. floppies in your purse <laughs> at the dance, okay? That's right. Ain't nobody trying to dance in no hills nor run down no stairs because you're gonna end up on your booty. I learned that particular fact booty. from uh, the Cheetah Girls. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. No, I didn't. I and knew, now I knew, from your wife. I before that. Um, so she drops a slipper and she hops back into her glass carriage and uh, and runs away. They also like close a gate so none of the guards can, the can chase them or something like that. Um, so she heads home. Dude, and there's one point where she's in the pumpkin. I'm like, yes, it's it's, it's, a, it's a pretty fun sequence. I love where this part. Um, I was like, oh no, the seeds. The magic. <laughs> the magic is coming out of. The pumpkin and the lizards and the mice and everything that that uh, the godmother changed. So as they're driving, 
<laughs> they're all changing into mice and stuff like that. And the carriage itself is turning into a pumpkin. So it's getting smaller and smaller and just like closing in around poor Ella's uh, blue dress body. And, uh, you know, the, the, the pumpkin seeds are starting to show up and it's bouncing and stuff. Apparently, Lily James said that this was like the most fun scene for her to film because they kind of strapped her in and like a trampoline kind of thing inside of the pumpkin. So as it's as it's moving along, she's just kind of like bouncing around in there. <laughs> That's <laughs> that fun. That sounds fun. That sounds she fun. said it was super fun. Also, apparently there was a cut scene where um, her like arms and legs are poking out of the pumpkin and she's just kind of like running. <laughs> Which as reminds a, me of Alice in pumpkin. Wonderland, like yes. in, that, in the mm-hmm. house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right, when she gets all big. That's hilarious. Yeah, so very, very, very cool scene. I like the little, little action scene thrown in as the chase begins. Cute. and. All the magic and at this I like the horses turning into mice and the mice turning into horses, yeah. like the ears, the ears the head, getting all big, and the lizard. Cute. Yeah, this is cool yeah. stuff. And honestly, at this point, like the magic has worn off, and Cinderella is walking home. And I think she fully knows in her mind, like I'm never going to see the prince again. But like that was the best night ever. That was all I needed. I'm in good mood now. Yeah, it was like her little pick me up. You know, I've endured you know eight to twelve months of torture, and I just needed one night out. And whew, all right, all that's lifted off my shoulders. I can get back to doing. All these chores for yeah. no pay. Yeah. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Here we go. She's like, it. <laughs> she's like excited to go write about it in her little journal. Right. Yeah. Um, so she she's had an experience and she's, she's excited about that. Um, so she gets back home. It's like the first time you get to go to a bar once you're 21. Yeah. Like, wow. All right. That was all my dreams yeah. came yeah. true. I had she's a like on an adrenaline seven. high right And then now. quarantine hits yeah. and you can never go again. Right. Never oh. never again. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Forever, what, Louise? forever at home. Oh, is that what it feels like? He's, oh. a, he's agreeing. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the, um, the godmother, no, no, the stepmother and the stepsisters, they return home shortly after. I guess party's over at midnight, you know. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the way it was. Um, so they get they get home, and they're like, Cinderella, you missed it, okay? There was <laughs> there was a mysterious princess. The prince was, he was he was kind of hot for us, but he was mostly hot for the other princess. But we were there, you know, we, we were in the run. Dude, freaking Lady <laughs> Charmaine is like, he didn't even talk to you guys. I was dude. like, dang. She straight up told him. Yeah, dude. Um, She's like, nice try, <laughs> stupid and stupid, <laughs> stupid and stupider. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they're they're trying to rub it in her face. She's just like, oh wow, that sounds nice. I wish I could have been there or whatever. Um, and she goes up. She hides the slipper in her in her attic uh, floorboards. She writes uh, all about it in her journal, and then she goes back to her chores. And then and then the prince is. Uh, at his palace, he's like, we gotta, we gotta find this foot, man. We gotta find the foot that goes in this. Gotta slipper. find this foot. We gotta man. find this foot. We're on the hunt for the foot. Well, and <laughs> am I wrong? But like immediately, like that night, the king dies. Like yeah, it could be like within the next. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like the next day because when he's talking to Cinderella, like at the ball, he's like, I'm not sure how much my dad's gonna be here. I'm like, he seems fine. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like he's good to go, but apparently he was pretty sick because he's like. Son, I'm in bed, and it's not just bedtime. I'm actually sick. I'm the, I'm the sick <laughs> He's bed. like, it's time for me to <laughs> go. Dying. And just so you know, I thought it was just like twelve thirty-four. You can like, marry for tired. love. Go get that girl, okay? Yes, find but, that. Well, because he met her and was like, oh yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, right. Right. she cool. Yeah. Yeah, so so he gives his I think he dying says, blessing. I know. I think he's like, there was enough time for mourning, and then we go find that <laughs> shoe yeah, we gotta girl. Find that foot. So <laughs> he makes a deal with like um, Skarsgård. Yeah, Skarsgård. The Duke. And and he he is saying like I'm going to go find this girl and he's like no and in his mind he still promised her to this other princess you mm-hmm. know and so they make a deal he's like you will spare no expense to find her and then if you cannot find her then I'll marry the other lady right. and for him that sounds pretty good as the duke like mm-hmm. that's a good deal you know deal. all right Probably but no nah, Lady Tremaine be up in there trifling she, tri- another trifling, another trifling <laughs> moment for Lady Tremaine <laughs> um, the triflingest. <laughs> The mo- with the most trifles. Um, so, so yeah, he, he orders all anyone who thinks that they lost a slipper <laughs> at the ball, come Every on up to the palace. Put forth a foot. Put forth your feet, <laughs> and we'll see who. Everybody put their nasty bunions <laughs> in this glass slipper. I'm just going to throw this out there that that's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> like, go ahead and put your foot in this thing that every other person around you has put their foot in. All right, <laughs> number 458. Why don't you come in and put your nasty foot in this slipper? <laughs> <laughs> Summertime. We haven't invented sanitation wipes yet. It's so. definitely glass. <laughs> <laughs> it is holding all of the bacteria <gasps> in here. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's humid. Disgusting. Whoa. Um, so Lady Tremaine hears that, that this process is going down 
And I think by this point she has suspected that uh, Ella went and par- got her party on at the at the party somehow, even though, you know, her her face was disguised or whatever. Yeah. So she does some snooping around in the <laughs> attic, and she finds the shoe and confronts Ella about it, and is like, "So you think that you're gonna go and marry this man because you were the hot princess at the party?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "She's like, well, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. It'd be nice." And she's like, "Here's what's gonna go ha- gonna go down." This is I was not expecting <coughs> for what she says. For her to say what she said. Right. And Luis was like, oh, it was kind, of, kind of an interesting deal where she's like, she's twists. like, OK, so Story. you're going to marry this dude and then you're going to get two wealthy nobles to marry all my daughters. And then you're going to make me the head of the household of the entire palace. I'm going to be the queen of of this kingdom. Basically. basically. And she's like, and I'm going to control your your prince. And I'm going to control yeah. your little boy. I was like, was hmm, like this oh, is a nice turn of events. He became the king yesterday. I don't know if you know that. He could have your head cut off in a second. He doesn't know you or owe anything to you. And yeah. it's so funny because at first I'm like, wow, you a total creep, control freak. <laughs> Number two, regard- and I'm thinking in my head, like, regardless of what Cinderella says, like, you know she's going to say no because right. of just the way that the story goes. But then I'm thinking, like, I mean, if he really likes you as much as I think he does, you could just be like, yeah, to her face, and then go over there and be like, so right. this is the story. Okay. Oh, that's what I would have done if I was Cinderella. Yeah, I would have been, been like, like, sounds good, Lady Tremaine. And then I would have gone, like, yeah, okay, Lady Tremaine presents me, like, hey, it's me, it's Ella, whatever. And I'd be like, how are we going to poison this BZ? Because she got to go. We no. got to go that far. No, you just be like, Husband's so, the king now. So, hubby bubs, uh, let me tell you all about this. We're going to murder her. Yeah. <laughs> but then they wouldn't be the nice, kind king and queen well, let we're me gonna you, banish her <laughs> yeah we're gonna yeah. put her in in jail yeah. let me tell you all about the things she's done to me correct indeedy Anywho. i still would have poisoned her <laughs> show. Yeah, is show. That uh, poison kick i gotta, I gotta yeah. watch what she's cooking um so <laughs> it ain't much it ain't much <laughs> <laughs> so um tomorrow's thanksgiving y'all and yeah. michelle ain't cooking <laughs> mm, no good andre um so then do they go to the palace to get their feet sized or did the, the no they go out no. but like right after this scene cinderella's like no i will not do that and then she's like <laughs> lady tremaine's like sounds good she breaks the slipper and immediately apparently that night goes to the castle and and finds the duke and is right. like so are here's, you looking for this i'm like what kind of kingdom is this you can just straight up go and talk to the duke like where are we living yeah, yeah i don't I get guess. to go talk to no president right mm-hmm. Go Not that I want to. Several layers still. of uh, security before you and get And the there. Duke is like, hmm, hmm, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> he like doesn't even care. He's like, yeah, as long as she marries this other princess, I don't care. Like, Right. He's looking for the You can be a lady. And he wants the advantage. economic advantage. Yes. Exactly. <clears throat> so um, from there, oh, yeah, she also locks Cinderella in the attic, right? Uh, which is cool. How <laughs> typical. <laughs> How Just typical. Prisoner lady in training. your own home. That's fun. Um, so... I think I think at this point they come a knocking, right? Yeah, because it's like the last house yeah. they need to go to yeah. to check the feet. Check. We got to check the feet of this last house. We got three more feet to check. <laughs> Six <laughs> more feet, technically, I guess. Um, they what, get there. Oh, they only dog? have one shoe. Oh, yeah, yeah, only one shoe. So three feet. Oh, I thought it was like <laughs> Mr. Goose needs to be checked. <laughs> <laughs> the lizards. All the, all the mice. Um, no, so they they check uh, Anastasia and. Drusella's big old honking feet, and uh, they were like, "Nope, this ain't gonna work." And then, and we haven't even mentioned the captain this whole time, but oh the yeah. king's captain is like his B. It feels like he's his BFF. His homie. And this bro is funny. I think he's very funny. He was also in Game of Thrones, actually, okay. for like an episode. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he, he's he's a cool dude. He's cool. Um, he's you like could tell he has the king's best interest at heart. Right. Like even though yeah, he's the king's homie. making his life a little bit harder. They were probably like childhood friends yeah. too. Honestly, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're in there and they hear singing coming from the attic, and they're like, uh, "Is there another lady Lavender here?" Lavender green, what? dilly dilly, la la la. Oh yeah, the dilly dilly <laughs> song. <laughs> Lavender's not green, by the way. It's dilly definitely dilly. purple. Uh, yeah. 
just in case you was wondering. I wasn't, but thank you. Um, <coughs> so yeah, she's she's dilly dillying up there, and they're like, okay, well, we're gonna go up there because we think we hear another maiden. I hear some dillies happening. He's like, yo, happen. I hear someone up in here singing, and then boom, pops out the prince from the cavalry, the king. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, the king. He's now the king. Yeah, you're right. And I like um, that though. I was not expecting him to just be chilling up in <laughs> he there. He was like, what so up? It's me doing his recon. What up? <laughs> you better go up in that attic. Let's go. Yeah, he's hanging out as one of the guards, <laughs> which. Just kind of, kind of funny. <laughs> He's like making sure they're doing their due diligence. Nobody. And the Duke is never really super rude to his face. He like bows to him, like, oh, snap. Ah, my plan's ruined. Dang, copy. All yeah. right, whatever. You got a good one, dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> so yeah, you smart. <laughs> so they go I up there. I smelled your royal essence over there. <laughs> <laughs> he was there. You've been holding on to that glass lip and pulling all them feet all three days. It's mm-hmm. nasty. Um, so they go up. <laughs> they go up to the attic. Uh, they see that Ella's in there, and they're like, "Hey, what's up? You want to put on this shoe?" <laughs> <laughs> he's so nice about it too. This the the captain. Yeah, he's. he's, he's I I feel like either way, the captain is like, even if you're attic. not the princess, like you getting out of here. Yeah, we me. we don't have to we don't have to do this anymore. Mm-hmm. But turns out that she is. The, the famed uh, mis- mystery princess in the blue dress. Uh, she puts and on I the really shoe. appreciate, too, like, I don't know why it wouldn't have been this way. Like, it's not like her face was hidden from the prince or the king or whatever. Right. But he knows immediately. Like, she turns that around and he's like, hey, girls. I don't uh, even need well, to touch because your feet. I, he would know, I right, feel like. Yeah. Right, but it. I think... It's even better that they turn around and then they're like, come on, let's put that shoe on. Let's right, put that right, shoe right, on. Right. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, in the animated version, it's this weird kind of thing where she's a mystery the entire night to, well, to him, too. Well, because he hadn't met her. Right. But, like, even still, he still goes through the process of meeting and touching all these other ladies' feet. He's like, <laughs> I know you're not the one. Why, why are we even bothering with this foot thing? Like, we don't have to. But in here, yeah. he sees her and is like, that's it. Hey, <laughs> that's so. the lady. I done seen your face before. Twice <laughs> now. Here we go. Third <laughs> time's the now. charm. <laughs> right. Um, uh, yeah, so it's it's kind of a, a happily ever after from here. They uh get married. They tie the knot, they get married. She's my wedge. housed up in a <laughs> in a big old palace now. And then what happens to uh They banish her to uh, the, the Duke, and the sisters? The Duke The Duke mo- like moves marries up. the kid. Right, right, the right. girls off and Peace, peace. Tremaine yeah. goes somewhere. Mm, she, she gets lady. They basically like, yeah. like, just go set them up somewhere else. Shush like, off. go do something. And don't ruin this. Right. <laughs> <You know>? Please. <laughs> bye bye. Like you ruin everything else. And that's uh, the end, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Am I missing anything? I think that's all it is. No, but I thought it was interesting that the credit sing, the credit songs were like Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo yes. and and, and uh, Sing Sweet Nightingale or no. The one that a she sings. A dream is a wish. Ah, stop playing with my wiener. Oh. <laughs> stop. Sorry, I was touching my shoulder. Pokemon. <laughs> 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 He's just like picking at it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, that was what made me think: like, were they gonna put these songs in the movie, and then they decided not to? Like, why even have them record them? I mean, uh, for for the credit songs, you know. I am uh, not mad that this wasn't a musical. I no, I'm say. not mad at it. Yeah, I think I think that was a a good um, idea, and they didn't even do the thing like in Mulan, you know, where they have the the original animated music kind of as yeah. like score music. They didn't do that too no, much. No, they did the la- the either. new song, the dilly right. dilly thingy. Dilly dilly. Um, <laughs> dilly, dilly. <laughs> I think dilly. she hums about the nightingale like one time in the town. Yeah. Yes. She's like, mm-hmm, yes, there are day. instrumental versions Give me some bread. of Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo and A Dream is a Wish Your Heart yeah. Makes. That's, that's the credit songs. Yep. <laughs> so that's Cinderella. Es un wish. Cinderella, Cinderella. Your corazón. Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the shmanis? This movie had a budget of $95 million back in 2015, and it came away with a worldwide box office of $542.4 million. I guess Dang. they made it. Okay. Dropping half a bill on you. Dang. Which is pretty good for a princess movie. Not as good as Beauty and the Beast, which is what came out uh, just a few years later, which made a full billion dollars. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, but it got pretty close. Yeah, but I think that overall, Beauty and the Beast is a more beloved movie than Cinderella. Bell too. Yes, yeah. correct. In fact, I read a fact that um, what's her name, Emma Watson, Hermione, uh, she tried out for Cinderella, and uh, 
didn't get it, but then was given. Yeah, that, that little, wouldn't make sense. A little she bit did, later. I feel like Lily James. This girl played a fantastic. She did really good. She was like just enough ditzy and just enough like Naive smart and, and yeah, yeah. sing songy and yeah. She had she had a, a pretty good performance overall. Um, she would have done a good job as Alice as well, I think. Yeah. yeah. Because the girl who plays Alice freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> oh, I think she's perfect. Which I think is kind of perfect for oh, that role. Well, and but, yeah. purposeful, I'm sure, yes. too, because they make her so washed out. Right. Yeah. That it's that her facial expressions are like so vivid. And yeah. It's like, whoa, like wild. your face is very wild. <laughs> right um, but I really liked her. In yeah. This. Yeah, I think the only thing I had seen her in before this was Baby Driver. She's like the main love interest in, in that movie. You haven't seen Mamma Mia? Um, is she Mama in Mia Mamma Mia 1 or is she just in Mamma Mia 2? Mia I've only two. seen Mamma Mia 1. Oh. My, my. No second round of Mamma Mia for me. <laughs> you know? I don't okay. need to hear the same Abba songs. Mamma Mia 2? Luis really likes the first one. I did not. <laughs> not a fan. I just thought it was funny that he liked it because out of all of the things that he could <laughs> all like, he musicals. was like, yeah, I don't like Mamma Mia. I was it's like, Mama oh, Mia. okay. You're like, all right. Mamma Mia. Um, so <laughs> tomato. on the Tomato Meter, this Cinderella film has an 83% all right. on the Tomato Meter. That's certified fresh. The critics' consensus says... Refreshingly traditional in a re- revisionist era, Kenneth Branagh's Cinderella proves Disney hasn't lost any of its old-fashioned magic. Okay. Okay. Um, I can dig it. Yeah, I can concur with that. So, let's give our ratings. Luis, what are you going to rate this movie? Going to rate it, going to rate it. Hmm. I'd say maybe about, it was a good eight, eight. if you ask me. Yes. That is a solid score. Solid score. I'm going to mm. give this movie an eight and a half. I very much enjoyed it. I got to take back what I said about not liking it. But that <laughs> also just goes to show <laughs> when you watch a movie at different times. Like, I liked Smart House. Now I don't really care for it. Right. You know, it's just like the the time you watch it in or what kind of mood you're in or yeah. whatever. Um, so I thoroughly enjoyed this. It's a solid Disney live action. I really liked it. I'd probably watch it again, too. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Emily. Well, I have a completely different point having nothing to do with Cinderella to say. yes. The first time I saw Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Mm -hmm. I was in a very bad mood. Uh, I was mm. pregnant and pissed off. But that makes a difference. To really make me mad. (laughs) And Uh the air conditioning was like He made you go see Guardians of the Galaxy 2? No, I love Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. But the air conditioning was like shut off in the theater and, and it was completely full. And, and we, yeah, uh, anywho. Hot and bothered. Yeah, it was in the summer. I was just really mad and pregnant and just like pissy. Mm-hmm. It anywho, makes a difference. Point being, I did not like it the first time. Ah. Like everyone was laughing and I was sitting there like not Mm-mm-mm. enjoying it. Like, this raccoon well, ain't I funny fell, to me. I fell asleep in the live un- action jungle book and hated that for See, a long time. there you go. And then I rewatched it and was like, wow, this is really funny. <laughs> like, I thought Baby Groot was so annoying the first time. I was like, this is stupid. Like, oh, my gosh. Great. What is this? Mr. Blue Sky. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. So, point being, it does matter mm-hmm. how it you does. feel when you watch it. Yeah. If you're not in the mood for silly and you see something silly, it ain't funny. It's true. <laughs> Very true. I liked it. I'll give it an eight and a half. Eight and a half. Very good. Andre. Oh, uh, I concur. I think I'm also going to give this movie an 8.5. Um, it w- it was surprisingly surprisingly good. Like I I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. I think I liked it more than Mulan. Yes. Oh, I definitely liked, I it, definitely more liked it more than Mulan. Yeah, Mulan. Because the problems in Mulan were different. Were were like big problems. Yeah, they outweighed and the any like semi problems I had with this weren't like they didn't glare yeah uh, uh helena belena's teeth didn't bother me anywhere near as much as that freaking <laughs> phoenix. phoenix did goodness gracious stupid phoenix did oh Luis ever watch it now no. that it's available no because it's still not up for free right what do you mean? I, I ain't touching that movie until it's free i think december I think december. december 4th is when it's Luis will watch it available. on the 5th yeah <laughs> is when it's actually there i ain't touching it till it's free <laughs> um but yeah this movie was it was pretty funny there was a, there was a lot of good um good funny lines the 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 act the performances were all were all solid except for once again helena belena's uh, teeth talk um <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I, I I enjoyed this movie um, a bunch. Emily, did you watch the live action Lion King yet? Nay. Yeah, she probably won't. 
No. That's like one of the only ones you haven't seen now, probably, right? True. Did you see yeah. the Aladdin? Yes. Yeah, okay. that was on Disney Plus. And I didn't. So I need to watch it again. No, we love the Aladdin. So babe, we, we liked said. Aladdin. Mm. Going into it, knowing that you did not love it. I did not. So I thought, kept thinking to myself, I don't know if I'm going to like it, uh, which I had my own gripes going into it, sure. just like I think everybody did. Mm -hmm. But I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I was going I need to. Yeah. I need to revisit. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll do it on the show. Cause I think I usually, once I watch the live action the second time, mm -hmm. I like it a little bit more. Well, because you don't know what to th what to expect. What to expect. It's like, yeah. I really it's be really good or really bad. I really did not like The Lion King. I don't foresee myself watching that unless we do, do it, it, and right. then I feel forced. I'm sure we will one day. No. <laughs> <laughs> but alas, we won't be doing it anytime soon because no. it, we are getting into December, guys. It is the last month of 2020. Okay. <laughs> so we gotta get jolly because there ain't nothing else to it's focus on. It's time to up get. A holly jolly up in this thing, up in this <laughs> podcast, okay? Time to get holly jolly, baby. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas. There's just one thing I need. <laughs> Good <laughs> God, what? I thought you were going to keep going. Um, Some movies. Next, we do in the jolliness. Next week, we are going to be starting our Christmas month-a-thon. Uh, uh, <laughs> Christmas month-a-thon. Christmas, mo Christmas movie-thon. Yeah. What uh, do they call it on, like, um... Don't they do it on ABC? Like, what do they? It's call like a twelve, 12 days, days of Christmas days or something like that. Christmas. We're not no, doing we that. We ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. We're doing five four weeks. Four. Or four. I think it's five movies actually. I think so. Well, it's four Christmas movies and then one movie. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So next week we will be watching the 2019 Disney Plus original film Noel. Because we didn't do it last year, so no, we're gonna we do not. it this year. Correct. I I still have not have never seen it. Neither have I. I don't um, even think I saw the trailer for it. It stars Anna Kedrick and Bill Hader as Santa's children. Do you think if Addie watches this, she's gonna be like, "Poppy"? <laughs> it's funny that you say that because I have never watched a movie with Anna Kendrick mm. in it live. Live action. action. Yeah. Like I've only ever watched Trolls. Mm-hmm. Where she's pop the main character Poppy, right? And so in my head, her voice is—I think it's going to be weird for me to watch it because mm. I'm going to be like, because you've seen Trolls so many. Oh times. yeah, like Trolls is life here. <laughs> so if Trolls was Disney, <laughs> if we would have been all up in here right. with those. Movies. We would have been trolling. But um, yeah. So I've never seen her live action in anything, but it'll be interesting to see if Adeline's like. <gasps> Mm. What is that voice? Where's Branch? Well, I mean, <laughs> she probably will because like, Anna Justin Kendrick like, is not in this movie. Because <laughs> Anna Kendrick has such a distinct voice. Yeah, she does. Yeah. I mean, she's not singing in this movie. It doesn't matter. Think. Her speaking voice but, uh, but, uh, is distinct. But I'm thinking, like, if you watch Pitch Perfect, where she is singing a bunch mm -hmm. as well as speaking, then then I think the poppy poppy vibes are really going to come in. Probably, but, but they might come in with this movie as well. So. Next week. I'm excited. Get ready for some Christmas. I know I just way. yawned, but I actually am excited about it. They're this. supposed to be Santa's kids? Santa's adult children, yes, oh, good I believe. Lord. I oh, believe I didn't know that. You I shouldn't have told me that at all. Yeah, I, I don't need know to know that. any. Don't, do not read a synopsis. All right, you got it. I'm just going to go into it. <laughs> that was already too much. Like, yeah, I didn't need to know I'm that. I'm like, ooh. I think that, that's what I remember from the trailer. I haven't, I haven't looked you it up. You think? I think. So I could be wrong. It could be something else. I'm about to watch it. Santa's cousins or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> After I go home and watch the Avatar. The Avatar. And Avatar. can save the world. And you can follow us <laughs> on Instagram. Head to at the Walt Vault Pod. We're available on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are the places to hit us up. Leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the live action Cinderella. Um, what your thoughts are. Did you like it better than the animated version? Did you like it better than some of the other live actions that we've talked about recently? You can send an email to contact at the waltvaultpod.com. We'll read that message on the show. I haven't gotten an email in a while, you guys. I'm lonely. I'm sad. <laughs> send one in. See what play. Um, Luis always giggles up that. <laughs> if you didn't know, he's over here giggling. Like, nobody said to me, <laughs> Please send an email to the Andres who doesn't have to... Um, <laughs> you can also leave a review for the Walt Vault. Uh, head to uh, iTunes or the Apple Podcast app. Uh, leave us a review that helps us get uh, heard by more ears. You can help support us by going to Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the Walt Vault, where you get some extra content thrown your way every week. And you can support us even further by buying some merch on Bonfire. Go to bonfire.com slash the Walt Vault and get uh, shirts or sweaters or long sleeve t shirts or tank tops. If you're feeling crazy in the winter, you know, go nuts. Do some merch purchase. That's right. Purchase some merch. Um, 
I think that's it. I've mentioned everything I'm supposed to mention. We will see you guys next week for some Noel goodness. The Vault is now closed.